Hi everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Recently I reviewed this home security camera. This is a Xiaomi Emilab outdoor home security camera. And this can do a PTG of 270 degrees. This is a very nice camera and it has both Wi-Fi and Ethernet connection options. So you can connect to the internet via this uh, two options like the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi. So in today's video, I'll show you how to connect the camera via the ethernet cable or the LAN cable and moreover I'll also show you how to uh, connect the camera using a PoE so the PoE is the power over ethernet and in PoE what you can do is you don't need two cables you'll just need the LAN cable like this so like this kind of LAN cable and when you connect to the camera what you can do is using this uh, using this kit you can combine these two connections and connect to the router so i have the wi-fi router here currently this camera is connected to the wi-fi router and i've also connected the hard drive uh, to be the nas so i'll also show you how to do the set up the nas connection for this camera so currently as you can see uh, the camera is connected to the uh, wi-fi and to this router and i'll show you the uh, multiple options that is available if you connect to the ethernet so first let me unpack this one i'll show you what are the contents so these are the two connections that comes with this this will be the connection to the camera so you'll connect using this two uh, connections and then this will go to the router and the power supply uh, these you can buy online uh, you just have to search for PoE kit and you can get it online. These two comes uh, with this uh, kit. These two are uh, similar to the one that uh, the Xiaomi camera has provided. Using this what you can do is you can make the, the LAN port here waterproof because these are uh, not waterproof and it needs to be kept away from water to have a good connection. But the problem with these uh, ones that they have provided is that it, it cannot fit these cables. So uh, if you have a new uh, setup where you have you have a, just a LAN cable and then you uh, connect to the RJ45 connector using a crimping tool, then you can put this through. But currently uh, it is not very user friendly because uh, now I don't have the LAN crimping tool. But uh, in the case of the Xiaomi uh, camera, what they have provided is a very user friendly one. They have a specific cutout and you can put through this uh, uh, RJ45 connections uh, and you can make this watertight. But these are going to be useless for me right now. Anyhow, I'll show you how to connect to the camera via the PoE. So this is the PoE kit. So as I said, uh, this will go to the router. So first let's disconnect the power cable here. First connect to the router, any port in the router, like so. And then you can plug in the power here. Then you can use the LAN cable. So you can use the LAN cable to connect to the uh, PoE kit here. And then this uh, other end of the LAN cable goes into the connection here. So now what it does is it has a 12 volt power supply here and the data connection here. Here they have combined the uh, power supply. This is the 12 volt supply and this is the data connection. So here they are going to split again. So you can connect uh, to the camera like this and we can connect using this port. So now the camera is uh, going to be powered on. Let's wait for the camera to power on and see how the connection is. Now we have successfully connected the camera using the PoE connection and the Ethernet. So as you can see, the light is blinking here. And you can check the camera here. So it's, it's connected. So now what you can see is you can go to the camera settings. So now you can see the personal hotspot is available. So previously when you use the uh, Wi-Fi connection, you cannot use this option. But now with this option, what we can do is you can we can use the camera as a hotspot for other cameras or other devices as well. So you can go to this setting and you can set a Wi-Fi name. For example, let's set it as the smart life. And this is the password. 
then we can save it and once that is saved then you can turn it on so now it's turned on and now we can see that the smart life Wi-Fi is available and we can connect to this Wi-Fi so now it is connected and we have internet so now we are connecting this phone to the internet provided by the camera so that's a very nice feature like this you can connect to uh, other cameras like this camera or any other camera for that matter so this is a very good functionality and this is what I wanted to show you so this is a very useful option because you just need to have only one single wire instead of having a power line as well as a LAN cable so if you don't have the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity or if you have a weak Wi-Fi in your installation location then you have to use a LAN connection like this so the Ethernet connection and it's very good and you can also extend this uh, connection using the Wi-Fi hotspot to the other devices so next what you, I'll show you is uh, since we have the NAS connection here and we already have the connection to the camera we can set up the NAS server so go to manage storage and then you can go to the NAS network storage so as it has detected the uh, Xiaomi uh, router NAS so you can select the NAS here and then if you are using a Xiaomi router you don't need a password because it automatically detects using this app so that's quite advantageous and uh, you can select the location where you want to store the videos so once that is selected the NAS will be set up so now it's done so you can see the option so you video storage and the video length is three months and you, you can upload live so these are the options that is available and I'm showing this setting not because of the Ethernet connection this also works with the Wi-Fi connection but some people have inquired whether you, this camera supports the NAS or not so these are the things that I wanted to share with you this is just an update of what I have reviewed before and it works very well uh, especially with the PoE it's very easy to install if you have a very good Wi-Fi to the installation location of the camera then you don't need to use a Ethernet cable they already provided a very long 5 meter power cable and you can try to use that but in other cases you can try to use the Ethernet connection and the power over Ethernet uh, option is a very good one and that's it thank you for watching uh, please consider subscribing I'll see you next time